as far as egg hunts are concerned, Easter brunch, all the different church services, sunrise services, and of course, what's going to be going on the hill. So get ready. The weekend edition of Vail Valley Live starts right now. Hey everybody, I'm Trisha Swenson with Vail Valley Live on this beautiful Friday morning. It is March 29th. We're closing down the month this weekend. This is your weekend edition of Vail Valley Live and I decided to come to Beaver Creek. I was traveling from Edwards and the roads were a bit crazy on Friday morning and we're going to see the cloud cover and the snow stay with us for a majority of the weekend. So for that sunrise service on Sunday, I'm not sure if we'll see that sun cresting over the Gore Range. It might be uh, obscured by the cloud cover, but what an amazing week we had. When I was here on Monday, that was the day that Beaver Creek got 14 inches of snow. Uh, we haven't seen that kind of accumulation later on throughout the week, but a little bit here and there every single day. So we are really looking good for the season, and it's kind of time we start winding things down because Beaver Creek does close on April 14th, and then Vail closes on April 21st. So just a couple of closing day announcements for you. We will be opening up the lifts at 830 at both Vail and Beaver Creek, but we do close down the back walls and Blue Sky Basin a bit earlier at, at 3.30, the back walls close. Four o'clock is when the front side of Vail Mountain closes. And then here at Beaver Creek Centennial Express, that will stay open for you until four o'clock. But areas like Rose Bowl and Bachelor Gulch, Arrowhead, they close earlier. So do keep that in mind if you're planning your ski day and your routes. But lots to talk about in today's show. So let's get rolling right to it. We're going to let you know about the weather right now. And this weather report brought to you by the outlets at Silverthorne. And they've got so many great stores over there for the whole family. So if, if skiing isn't your thing, if you don't like the flat light, well, go and do a little bit of shopping. Exit 205. It's about a half hour away from Vail, east on Interstate 70. But we're going to see cloud cover and some snow with us for the next couple of days for your Saturday and Sunday. And temperatures pretty mild, right around the 40s and then overnight lows in the 20s, kind of depending on where you are at. A lot of times that cloud cover provides an insulating layer, so it doesn't get as chilly as it was earlier this week, but we did definitely have a return to winter. And we'll, we'll take it. We could use the moisture as we go into the summer months. It's great to have those creeks and streams filled and the rivers flowing nicely because of all the snow melt that'll be happening. But what a winter wonderland right now. All the trees are flocked with snow from the overnight snowfall that we had. So we're going to have quite a bit of uh, people in town this weekend for Easter. So get out there and enjoy it. But once again, oh, here we go. We're kind of giving you an idea of what we've got going on with our temperatures our overnight lows, and our daytime highs, and it really looks like we're not gonna see much sun until Tuesday. And don't be surprised if you hear a little thunder out there. That is very typical for springtime, that thunder snow. So if you're over there and you're like, did I just hear thunder? You, you may have, because I think we could see some of that in the forecast for the next couple of days. But thank you to the outlets at Silverthorne for this weather report. We want to take a look at one of the stores that's over at the Ellis of Silverthorne that can outfit you for a variety of activities. Pearl Zumi, once known just for biking, not anymore. They can help you with uh, any kind of your kind of fitness and even ash athleisure needs. Peggy Ziglin has more. Let's take a look. Hi. I'm Peggy Ziglin, fashion guru and stylist for the Atlas at Silverthorne. I'm here today at Jasper Park in Alberta, Canada. Well, not really, but I am at the sports buffet, which is amazing. It's not food, but boy, is it sports. Everything you could ever dream of from soccer, golf, lacrosse, gosh, you name it, they've got it. And for all of you that are practicing golfers, come on over and practice. 
yeah, don't let things get behind you. Get at it. And speaking of getting at it, I've got a steal and deal to share with you before I show you some amazing things from Pearl Izumi. First, it's all about my Crocs. Take a look at these puppies. Oh yeah, these are my Crocs. I call them my Chanel inspired Crocs with the pearls and everything else. They have a Crocs outlet right here at the outlets at Silverthorne. And if I use my little discount thing, I'll get $10 off $75, which you can pick up at the Colorado Welcome Center. Just saying extra dollars for you to buy even more at the outlets at Silverthorne. And speaking of more, let's bring on some models from Pearl Izumi. First, take a look at Rachel. Rachel has on the cutest, neatest neon yellow, fabulous jacket, her fun eggplant jersey, long sleeve top, her fabulous shorts, which are so fun for biking, hiking, just about anything. And she of course has her biking shoes and that side pack bag is included. Her whole outfit would be $465. Pearl Izumi can be costly, but not here. It's gonna be $307.80. If she bought everything head to toe, saving $157.20. You look fabulous. You look Pearl Izumi. And next we have Liv. I am obsessed with this color. Love it. She looks fabulous. She's got her coral full zip fun top. And she also has her little tunic underneath, which is so fun. It's a cami. Love it. Great for everything from ballet to pure bar to going biking, hiking as well. And their jeans. Yeah, I got those in the clearance center. They fit like a glove, amazing. And her fabulous shoes, ready to go for a great bike ride. And of course she's staying hydrated with her tumbler. $397 is what most people would pay at, for Pearl Izumi. Not Liv, she's smart. She went to the outlets at Silverthorne and she's gonna spend $236.92, saving $160.08 from the Pearl Izumi outlet. Thanks Liv. Okay, Alexandra, another smart shopper. Here she is, Pearl Izumi. I'm obsessed also with her teal fun jacket. Love the zipper detailing and more of that mustard yellow. We also have her fun jersey underneath, um, which is, brings in all the colors. And I'm gonna call them more of a fun little uh, painted, paint, it's almost like splatter paint leggings. And then if that weren't enough, look at those great shoes, biking shoes that really pick up all the colors and that tote bag is to die for. I didn't even know they carried tote bags, but they do. $475 retail, it would be $297. Outlets at Silverthorne cost, amazing. She's gonna save $178. Way to go, Alexandra, you look fabulous. And here comes May. Well, Pearl Zumi is known for that fabulous jersey that May is sharing with you. It's Colorado style. It's for the state, it's amazing. What a great memento to bring home. What a great thing to wear if you live here, everyone loves them. And then if that weren't enough, those eggplant, fabulous paisley fun leggings. And then we've popped that with her shoes, which match, actually match the sea in Colorado, um, which looks so cute. $310 would be retail, comes to $209.25. May's gonna save $100.75. Way to go. And Silver, Silver has on her fun bubble coat, love it. Super insulated, super warm for those fun white walks, hikes, bikes, whatever, golfing. She also has a hoodie on underneath that long sleeve. Layering up is what Colorado's all about. And then if that weren't enough, she's got her lifestyle trail pant. Love these, they're like a cargo pant and they're fun and they're actually tailored and tapered at the bottom. And then she has her gray and coral hiking shoes. Her whole outfit would be $505, comes at $282.37. She's gonna save $222.62, all from Pearl Izumi, all silver. Thanks, Silver. Okay, Cameron, it's all up to you. He looks fab in his Pearl Izumi. Actually, he has a um, what they call the Nathan jacket. Nathan is manufactured by Pearl Izumi, uh, sister companies. And then of course he's got his Colorado tee underneath, which is super duper fun. And then he also has his lifestyle fabulous pant on as well and his biking shoes. 
His whole outfit would be $435, comes to $290.02. Cameron, smart guy, is going to save $144.97. So here you have it. What I'm going to ask you now is to have all these beautiful models come back and they too are gonna enjoy our fabulous golf resort that we have behind us in Jasper. Looking fabulous, all from the Pearl Izumi outlet, only at the outlet at Silverthorne. I encourage you to pick up your savings card booklet because they too have a discount of 10% off your entire purchase. It's worth actually stopping there. We'll see you soon from the Sports Buffet live at Silverthorne. Welcome back to Vail Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson coming to you on this Friday morning, March 29th for the weekend edition to let you know what's happening all throughout the Easter holiday weekend. I got my chai tea latte from Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea. And uh, I also had a chance to take a look at the Vail Daily this morning. So grab your copy. They're free in newspaper dispensers all throughout the valley, or you can always hop online, valedaily.com. We'll give you all the details and you'll have all the news right at your fingertips. But lots of things going on, whether it's um, parcels of lands that are in, under dispute or maybe the latest moose sighting. I don't know what's going on down there. Also, many things going on with prep sports at this time of year as we kind of cross over into the spring sports and activities. Like, what are you going to do this weekend? We've got the weekend picks in there as well. So MailDaily.com, you can also sign up for their newsletters, whether it's the entertainment newsletter, sports newsletter, or just strictly news and find out when things are closing like mail pass or, you know, get some breaking news alerts sent right to your phone or your device. But right now, let's talk a little bit about Easter weekend. We have a lot of people that are in town for this holiday and we're going to let you know kind of where the different church services are because if you're not at your home church you may be wondering where are we going to go for good friday services or for easter sunday services and we have some some beautiful churches especially right along the hillside up at the base of beaver creek we have the beaver creek chapel and if you go to their website, you can find out all the different denominations that use that as their house of worship. What a beautiful, beautiful location. What's really cool is when you're inside there, you can see the skiers coming down. You can see some snow cats going by. It's a pretty interesting place. So we, we love the Beaver Creek Chapel. So you can go to their website to find out who is gonna be there. We've got um, the Covenant Presbyterian worship. We've got Baptist services. Lutheran and Catholic services coming up. And then the Vail Interfaith Chapel. That is the one that's right in the heart of Vail, right next to First Bank and the Sun and Alp Hotel. They have so many different denominations that use that building as their house of worship. So they'll be doing many different things going on uh, this whole weekend, whether it's Catholic Mass or then of course the Easter services. And then the Edwards Interfaith Chapel, that's the newest of the three. And that is on Highway 6, just west of the main downtown of Edwards. Beautiful building, uh, houses lots of different events and activities. So that is going to be full of different churches that are going to be congregations that will be gathering there this weekend. And then also the Catholic parishes of the Vail Valley, maybe at St. Patrick's, maybe at St. Clair's of Assisi. They have a lot of different um, services that will be going on this weekend for you as well, whether it's down in Minturn, Eagle or in Edwards. So so check out that. And um and then we've got our traditional Easter sunrise service and this will be taking place at the top of Eagle's Nest. So bright and early on Sunday morning, the gondola number 19, the Eagle Bond gondola, will start operating for foot passengers at 6 a.m. All right, so bright and early. So make sure you get there. You can park for free in the morning. Um, if you leave by probably about 10 o'clock or so, and no skis or snowboards allowed, this is not a skier, 
you know, moving the skiers up the hill. This is just for the Easter service worshipers. And then at 6.30, they're gonna have a wonderful service. Goes for about an hour. It'll be inside Eagle's Nest. And then at the end, they have you go out to the Simonton deck and that overlooks Mount of the Holy Cross. Uh, you pass the piece. Sometimes Salvat Fricker is up there playing Amazing Grace on his open horn. I don't know if he'll be up there that early, but uh, I've had that experience in the past, but it really is just a beautiful way to start your day and, and to start your Easter holiday. I don't know if we'll see that sunrise because we've got a lot of cloud cover in the forecast for the next couple days, but you never know when it might pop through. So once again, Easter service at Eagle's Nest. So we're really excited about that. Then all the Easter egg hunts are happening. So most of these are going on on Saturday. So the Vail Rec District is hosting theirs in Vail Village. So the covered bridge, that's where you're gonna start. And they are doing a really cool thing. This is a scavenger hunt. So one clue will lead you to the next, to the next, to the next. And then at the end, that's where you're gonna get all the prizes and all the fun things going on. 10 a.m. to about 11.30 on Saturday this weekend. Then down in Avon, from 10 till noon, they're gonna have their Easter egg hunt as well. So they have 10,000 eggs. They're also gonna have inflatables. They're gonna have the uh, a jelly bean counting contest and all sorts of fun and games. And then they're also gonna have a petting zoo right there, which is really, really fun for the kids. So from 10 to noon on Saturday, check that out down in the town of Avon at Nottingham Park. And then at Eagle, down at the Brush Creek Pavilion, we're gonna have another Easter egg hunt for you. So kind of up the val up valley, down valley, wherever you are. And the Easter Bunny is gonna be traveling in between these locations as well for photo opportunities. But the one in Brush Creek is gonna be at between one and three. So that'll be afternoon. So if you plan it right, you can maybe hit all three. <laughs> okay. You know, 10 a.m. up valley and then all the way till three o'clock. And that's gonna be the Eagle Egg Hunt. So we're excited about that. And then Chasing Rabbits, you know, it's got the rabbit in the name. They're gonna be doing their Easter egg hunt, but that's gonna be on Sunday. So that'll be at four o'clock, four till five. And they're gonna have eggs and candy and prizes. And this will be in the rabbit hole, so the arcade. So very fitting that they're gonna be doing something for Easter there. And then we have many brunches throughout the valley. Right here in Beaver Creek, just down the way, Park High at Beaver Creek is going to be doing a wonderful brunch. Also, Stoke and Rye down at the Weston in Avon. They've got one. It'll start at 7 a.m., but it's going to go all the way until the afternoon. Huge buffet, honey baked ham, uh, all the different carving stations, seafood station. They've got that for you. And then the Sun and Elf Hotel, which is known for their brunch in Vail, they go extra, extra special for Easter Sunday and then a few other places, you know, so check, give your favorite restaurant a call. I know that the Creekside Grill down in Gypsum, they're doing a brunch with an egg hunt combined. So there's gonna be a lot of places for you to go. I'd make reservations though, because these do tend to fill up quickly. And then um, a few other things happening this weekend. Well, we've got the Arabelle Jazz Lounge. This is a new offering that they've been doing much once a month throughout the winter and they're gonna have um, some great cocktails great music Drew Zaremba trio is gonna be there and you know what if you bring let's see I think if you bring four friends your ticket is free and it includes um, your light snacks oh, day, Kim. craft cocktails some high-end wines so it should be really fun so check that out that's gonna be on Saturday night and then on Sunday, we're bringing back Dine with the Dogs. And this is something that they offer you on Sundays up at Vail Mountain at Henry's Hunt. But this Sunday, it's going to be extra special. Hot dogs, cookies, and some giveaways from Holly Hansen, such as backpacks and maybe some base layers. And you know what? Right before I started the show, I saw a few ski patrollers with a puppy, a tiny puppy. And uh, I said, what's, what's its name? And she goes, we don't have a name for it yet. So that's how new <laughs> that avalanche dog is. But these dogs are, are such good ambassadors. They're hard workers too, of course. But uh, they're gonna be on, on display, showing off their skills. And what will also be cool is that we'll also have ski patrollers there for you too. So Dine with the Dogs is gonna be 10.30 to 11.30 this Sunday. 
But right now, another thing going on, all the art galleries have some great showings, a lot of visiting artists throughout the spring. And David Yarrow was just here at Relevant Galleries. And if you've never seen his work, oh, it's pretty amazing. And some of his subject matter is local. So let's learn a little bit more about this artist. We're at Relevant Galleries in Vail with David Yarrow, the world-renowned photographer who's here for a big show. We're showing a lot of your works, especially the debut of the ones that are right here in Eagle County. So great to have you in the Vail Valley. It's always good to be back here. We've got yeah. a lot of friends here. And, uh, seems a lot of people from Texas, and we're in Texas <laughs> quite a lot. So we run into the same people, whether it's Dallas or Vail, but beautiful weather. Lucky to come in two days before the storm. Yeah. And uh, it's beautiful now. It's like spring. Oh, it is. Definitely spring is sprung. But um, I love this. Now, this looks like it was taken when it was pretty cold. This is the newest edition of some of your photography. And this is Minturn. We've got Minturn. We've got Vail. So tell us about this local connection that we have going on. Well, we kind of like to photograph uh, in places where we have got galleries because I think it, it, it resonates more if it's something that they can relate to. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether my pictures of elephants in Africa <laughs> have got much purpose in Vail. Well, I do love those too. <laughs> I think it's a classic old saloon. It's been refurbed. Yeah. And we thought about what we were going to do. Um, we knew that it was going to be a sunny day and a cold day, so I knew my time. Alexander Ambrosio is a you know, world-class model. And I like doing retro stuff, hence the KT skis. So yeah. got a kind of 1970s style to it. Mm -hmm. This guy in the back here is, um, he's uh, been, uh, he was DiCaprio's bad guy and killer of the fly. <laughs> oh, wow. So before Scorsese started using him, he was about $500 a day as an extra. Oh. Now he's 5000 Okay. So a little bit more expensive. <laughs> yeah. How much for the bison? <laughs> The, uh, the bison and I have a cash relationship. Okay, okay, I'm sure, we yes. Avoid, we avoid tax. Okay, yeah, perfectly. He's, he's in Yellowstone. That's the bison that's used in Yellowstone. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, a star-studded cast yeah, exactly. right here in this one. And and I love it. That, you know, people might think, oh, this is Photoshop. But you know what? I mean, we've got the shadow here. We've got the breath. Like, these are live action photos. Mm -hmm. That's why so few of them actually work. Yeah. Because you... Never work with animals or children. Okay. But certainly never work with animals because quite often it just doesn't work. Yeah. And our pictures in the wild, like whether it be the bears or the bulls over in Spain or the bison, you know, they're low percentage shots. Okay. That's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why it's so special when you do get them and, and the stories behind it. I was reading about this one, you know, 18 inches of new snow. Yeah. You really have to depend on the weather a lot, We're too. snow chasers, yeah. We, fo we, we, we follow the, the snow around. And if I had my cameras here, or if I was intending to shoot yesterday morning at about nine o'clock, oh, no. the, the denouement of the snowstorm. Yeah. Um, but we're really very, very weather focused, yeah. Okay, okay, wow. All right, well, and then besides the Minturn Saloon, which was so neat, you bring the bison inside yeah. too, but then you did the lodge at Vail. Yeah. So that's kind of a nice iconic place too well, that I has a was, retro look. I think it has, uh, it's part of Vail history. Yeah. Whilst Vale history is shorter than some ski resorts. Uh, I believe that Lodge of Vale was one of the, the, the formative uh, um, hotels here. Yeah. So we worked with the management team. They were delighted that we could go and do something. And we tried to tart it up as much as it could look like 1970 and yeah. brought in the right car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the car is so, amazing. So it, was, it was fun. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of history to explore here. And I think. Um, uh, Colorado, is, as we have about seven or eight galleries in Colorado, but I think we take more pictures in Colorado than just about any other yeah. U.S. state because they have these wonderful box canyons and the old mining towns. So there's a tre treasure trove of yeah. stories for a storyteller. Well, it's great. You know, you work with the, the models and the athletes, of course, you know, Tom Brady, but then uh, Michaela Schifrin. Yeah. So that was great that you were able to capture her, too. Yeah, she's a local girl, isn't she? And, and yeah. uh, I, I must admit, we've we photographed a lot of sports stars around the world over the last 18 months. And I... I thought she was exceptional. She's so down to earth, yeah. lovely natured. Her boyfriend, uh, Alex, Alexander, so we, so we photographed them in Norway. And of course, this year, sadly, they both had bad accidents. I know. Very close to one another, time wise, not yeah. location wise. Um, and uh, his was worse than hers. And it was so yeah. nice to see she'll. Yeah. She's back. I know. I know. That's she's great. A, she's a 
the force of nature. Okay. Well, what, what's neat? What's next? Where else do you I'm gonna go? I'm going to try get some sleep because I had <laughs> too many drinks last night in one of the dodgy bars in there. I think it was called the George. It's not... <laughs> Tequila and altitude don't go well together. Okay, all so right. Struggling a little bit this morning. Okay, okay. So I, we after this, I, uh, where do we go? We go to um, go to Stone Beaver Creek tomorrow. Okay. And then we go to um, Kansas. But I've done. Uh, it's the fifteenth of March, and I've done thirteen countries so far this year. Wow. So I think it's, we're due a little bit of a rest. You're, you're, you're going to need more pages in the passport. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need a few passports. Okay, awesome. Well, David, thanks so much for your time, and it's, it's great to great. have your work, and great to have you photographing this gallery, in this gallery. is exceptional. Yeah. And, uh, very proud. I think it's as strong a gallery as we have now in okay. America. They've done a great job. Okay. Well, thank you so much. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks. We believe in the power of a live performance. We believe in making memories together. Join us as we celebrate making moments that last a lifetime. Bringing concerts, comedy, Broadway, classical, dance, and family entertainment in the heart of the Rocky Mountains in Beaver Creek Village. View the full lineup and get tickets today at villarpack.org. Welcome back to Vail Valley Live. We just saw that commercial for the Villar Performing Arts Center, which is just a couple of escalator rides away from where I'm at, Slopeside. Many people don't realize that that is underneath the Black Family Ice Rink. There's a 535 seat theater right below there, and they've got some great shows this weekend. Now, I Illuminate, which is on Friday night, is sold out. And for good reason. I mean, they rocked it on America's Got Talent. They have their own show at the Strat Theater in Vegas. So I wasn't surprised to see that program sell out. But on Sunday, we still have a space at Ensemble Melange. Now, this is gonna be a very interesting performance because it's classical music, it's a sextet, but you're gonna be on stage with them. Okay, so we've got the piano player, the cellist, the oboist, the vocalist, the clarinetist, and, um, and also violinist. So there's six of them. And what they're going to do is they're going to give you a menu and they're going to point to you and you're going to pick the next song. So it, it's really an interactive experience. There's a wonderful reception beforehand where you can have some drinks and some nibbles. And then there you go. You're going on stage with the whole crew. So that's Ensemble Melage. And then after that, we still have some more shows all the way until pretty much closing weekend at Vail Mountain. So Puppy Pals Live is going to be the next one you won't want to miss. This will be next week, April 4th. And it's gonna be a howling good time. You, you've heard about this and um, tickets starting at 38, there's a special child ticket for 30 and then there's a ticket four pack for 116. But um, just look at some of the antics and some of the tricks that they are pulling off. Now this is featuring mostly rescue dogs. Puppy Pals is an over the top tale of what could happen when humans and animals come together in kindness, comedy, compassion, and cooperation. So it's just a, a really, just a really, really fun show. So if you're looking for something to do, you're still here next week. That'll be on April 4th, Puppy Pals Live. And, and then a few other things happening just kind of on a daily basis throughout the month of March. We've got a few more days of this is the afternoon music that you're going to find on the plaza from 3 to 5 this weekend. We've also got Beaver Creek Fun Fest on Saturday. And that's when they have all sorts of carnival games and you take your tokens and you exchange them for prizes, some fun little Beaver Creek logoed stuffed animals and things like that, a little souvenir for you. We're also going to have face painters out here for this time of year. So that'll be from 3.30 until 5 right there at Fun Fest. And then Fossil Posse, Dinosaur Adventures. They're going to be here, caricatures with Ken Carpenter and our very own Helmut Fricker, our Bavarian rock star. He will be here playing the accordion and the alpine horn on uh, Friday and Saturday. So just a few things going on in the village. Now, outside of Beaver Creek, just down the hill from here is Agave. And Agave has just a really cool setup and stage for live music. And they're welcoming Sun Squabby this Friday with um, since July. They're going to open up for them, play together. 
they're back. So this is something that's been going on at Agave in the past. Real fun to have this great funk trio out of Boulder, Colorado. So a little jazz, a little dubstep, a little electronica. It's all going to be here. And they've, they've been played before, opened up, you know, worked with great other bands. So this should be quite the treat. So get your tickets for that. Go to agaveavon.com. And then on Sunday or Saturday, we have the Fretliners. So they're going to be playing with the Pickpockets. And so they're going to have just kind of this bluegrass, newgrass kind of feel. And uh, they, the Fretliners actually won some band competitions at uh, Telluride Bluegrass as well as some of the other, the Rocky Grass. So this should be super cool to have them. So just check that out. Should be great. You can get your show, you get your tickets pre-sale or get them day of. Maybe go a little early, get some tacos, some ceviche, get some good Mexican food there. And then the Battle Mountain High School players are putting on a Chicago Teen Edition. So this is going to be at the auditorium at the high school. And Chicago, you know, Roxy Hart and Amos and Velma, they're all going to be part of this. And some of the songs, all that jazz, cell block tango, that's going to be a part of it as well. So support the youth in the arts. And that'll be going on Friday and Saturday, 7 p.m. Cool. at the Battle Mountain High School Auditorium. So that's kind of what we've got going on. But let's take a do break here and we'll be right back. I'm just hanging out by the kids ski school. Little people getting ready to start their day. They got the skis all ready to go. The, beginner hill right next to us so a lot of excitement here on your easter weekend we'll be right back Welcome back to Vale Valley Live. We're about ready to wrap up this weekend edition, a holiday weekend edition of our show. And we're gonna give you one more look at the weather brought to you by Grand Hyatt Vale, which is the home of our Vale Valley Live studio where Zion is the morning pushing all the buttons. He's our producer today. But we're gonna see cloud cover and snow pretty much off and on for the next couple of days. I think the next time we see the sun, looks like that'll be on Tuesday. Temperature wise, we'll be into the 40s, at least down on the valley floor. In fact, there could be a little mix of mountain snow, valley rain, very typical this time of year. And you know what? We might see, I might hear some thunder. So this is the time of year where you get some of that thunder going on while we still have the, the snow falling. But you can see overnight lows, Pretty mild, not too bad, just in the 20s and maybe even the upper teens. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, we could see that sun start to break out. So for that Easter sunrise service, I don't know if we'll see that sun cresting over Gore Range. Who knows, maybe we'll see a little sliver of it. But just be prepared with a flat light. You're gonna want the goggles that have the lighter lens so that you can see the definition in the snow and also ski close to the the side of the runs by the trees by the woods because it gives you some perspective it helps you see a little bit more about what's going on but enjoy the easter egg hunts the easter brunches all the church services that are going on throughout the Vale valley and just the spring vibe that's here whether it's snowing or the sun is shining thanks for watching i'll see you on monday <laughs>